welcome back. We got a comic hunt and haul. Stick around to the end. First off, Rebel Base in Charlotte, North Carolina. What a shop. You kind of go down these creepy stairs, past the Great Clips, past the Sport Clips, and then you are into a world of back issues. Nice guy. Super nice guy. Gave us a great deal. Um, nice wall books. Decent stuff. A lot of figures. Um, like I said, a lot of back issues. Here's the newer stuff. Um, there's a bunch of figures. Didn't really look at them. And then here's this week's issues. And I guess some of the previous weeks. Pretty cool shop. Next one. We have got Picker Joe's Antique Mall. Now, this is in Savannah, Georgia. This was a shop that we really didn't anticipate going to, but boom, they had comics. And they had a couple good ones. Stick around to the end and see what we got. Next one up, we have got Nerdheim. This is in downtown Savannah. And it had no comics, but it was a cool shop. And I thought that we could add it to this and, uh, you know, show you guys around, show you guys the different places to tour when in the dirty, dirty south. They had something on to us. I thought that was cool. Next one up, we had Planet Fun. Now, they had the good stuff. They had some good stuff. Specifically, they had that Lois Lane, uh, that super uh, mildly racist uh, Lois Lane issue, which I wanted. Oh, Ty Beanie Babies. We're not going to talk about that today. Um, and then, you know, it, it just had some random back issues. Kind of been picked through. There's Laura. Um, it, you know, it, they had some like... Um, you know, some trade paperbacks, and they had a bunch of old video games. I didn't look at those too much. Uh, they had some magic cards. I kind of dug through those. Not that you guys really care that much about magic. That's okay. Um, but uh, we, we, you know, they had some other uh, key issues. There's their wall books. We got a couple of those. Um, nice guys. No deals to be had in here, though. Next one up. We had Odin and Sons. This was a newer shop. Very clean. Very clean. Um, beautiful store, super nice guy, real friendly, just new stuff, just modern stuff. Next one, we have uh, Neighborhood Comics. This is a really cool shop. We got a bunch of stuff here. Found a couple little deals in here, too. Um, they had a Walking Dead number one and a 9.6. Oh, I almost pulled the trigger, but I didn't. This was the Totally Awesome Bar. There was no comics present except for on the walls. I just had to film this. It was so cool. Awesome music in here. Um, cool uh, cool spot. Next one up. Savannah Comics and More. Oh my gosh. This place was loaded. It had back issues, Silver Age. I might have had even Golden Age stuff in there. I mean, it was, it was so much. And we were digging, digging, digging. And we were looking at the prices. And I was like, surely these aren't, these aren't the actual prices. I took them up to the counter. Guy said, yeah, those are the, those are the prices. My jaw literally hit the floor. We bought nothing here. Last but certainly not least, Echo Base. This guy was a former uh, showgoer, and he had a collection of 0.5 slabs, as you can see right there. That was so cool. Huge wall books, all keys. We picked up some major stuff. There's a little teaser right there if you didn't see those. Um, there's lovely Lara. And then, yeah, I mean, that was the haul, man. Oh, Certainly not least. We found Ty Beanie Babies. You know we're investing heavily in Ty Beanie Babies. They had the bears. They had the oversized monkey. They had the oversized lamb. They had the oversized bunny. Get Beanie Babies now while they're hot. All right. This is why you guys are here. We have got the haul. So these amazing Spider-Man issues we got from the Rebel Base in Charlotte. Um, that's a second print of uh, First Silver Sable. A lot of ASM issues that we needed to fill our run. Um, you know, we, we're putting together a run. You know, I'd, I'd like to put together one through 400 of ASM, if I'm being honest. I don't have a lot of double digit ASM, but I have most of the keys from 100 on, um, you know, 300, 129. Um, 179, you know, the, the big ones, I, I have most of them. Um, these are great covers. These are those McFarlane uh, issues. So I, I've had the hardest time finding those. And this is when it switches over into, uh, I believe, Larson. Oh, and there's the last uh, McFarlane issue. I love that cover, Hulk, issue, uh, Hulk cover. Um, yeah, I haven't been able to find those. And then it gets kind of into Punisher. 
Um, but yeah, we picked up a lot of McFarlane issues from a couple different runs here, which we'll get to here so shortly. But most of, if not all of these, were from Rebel Base in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, it was so funny because it was like we had this big, you know, list of shops we wanted to go to, but the Rebel Base was by far the best and with the best deals. The guy knocked off 25%, which was fantastic. Here I'm trying to trying to get these books out and show you guys what we got here. Trying to show you the covers a little bit cleaner. But um, yeah, I mean it was it was definitely the best shop. But there were some other places that were we're pretty good too, and we'll we'll get to those here. Um, more late. Oh, there's a Moon Knight cover. Yep. The these later ASM. I, I mean, when it gets into like the 380s and 390s, I'm like, Ugh, I I guess I'll just pick them up if they're dirt cheap. Um, you know, I I don't love that ASM. You know, part of the run. But this, this is, this is the, these are when it gets good here, um, right around after 361. Uh, that's a good Venom cover. That one's a little beat. That fo uh, that foil cover. That I can't remember the significance of that issue, but it's a key. Um, okay, yeah. So that was the ASM. Then we got two Fantastic Four books. This is a real clean issue, number 106. Um, nice book. Nice book. Um, and then we just got one other Fantastic Four book. We, we're pretty close to getting Fantastic Four done. Oh, here we go. Uncanny X-Men. Nice Doctor Doom cover. 145. And we got some other nice Uncanny X-Men issues that are coming down the pipe here. Uh, then we got a uh, oh, Wolverine cover. Keep your eyes up, up here. I'm up here. Um, cool Storm issue. Love that. That's a, that's a classic cover. Got two of these. One's in super clean condition. The other got a terrible spine roll. Nice cover here. I love that Wolverine cover. I'm a sucker for any kind of Weapon X type stuff. Um, you know, a couple more boring, more boring-ish covers. And then we get that one. Straight Baraka from Mortal Kombat there. And this was a key. Got this one pretty cheap. I think we paid 20 bucks for this one. Head spine ticks. Uh, color breaking, multiple all the way down the spine. I mean, it's it's fine. We got this one from uh, Neighborhood Comics. Yeah, they 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 had the deals there for sure. Um, and we, and they had that. Oh my God, they had that Walking Dead number one. Anyway, here's the Incredible Hulk 160. These are again from Rebel Base. This was our earliest issue that we picked up from Hulk. Got a bunch of good Hulk, including. The McFarlane Hulk, that's a key. That's Hulk and uh, Juggernaut. Um, a lot of these, I'm just going to kind of cruise right through them. These are pretty good condition. There was a couple that had the value stamp cut out. You know, I mean, there's no way that I can go through every single one of those. There's number 200. Um, and, and confirm that, when, especially when I'm trying to buy in bulk, I'm trying to get a deal. You know, it was, it was basically, it was like, you know, 25% off every issue. Uh, most of these were like in the $4 range, $5 range. And, you know, if you guys watched one of our previous videos and we got that huge Hulk run, I mean, we paid $2 an issue for those. And a lot of those were just steals. I mean, a lot of those were $10, $15, $20 keys. There's not a lot of Hulk keys. You know, we got Rocket, we got Doc Sampson, um obviously Wolverine, um, and we've pretty much got them all except Doc Sampson here later on. Okay, this is first McFarlane. Yeah, this is a good one. Good cover, good uh, quality issue, good, good condition. I love this McFarlane art, and we got the good McFarlane coming up here. Ah, oh, here we go, that ASM 300 homage cover. Love that. Decent condition, new stand though. And this is a good one. What's that? Three forty. Uh, that's uh, was that three forty-five? Yep, three forty-five. Yep. We three forty was not there, unfortunately. I still cannot get. Haven't got that issue. Okay, there's Joe Fixit's first appearance. That's a good one too, especially with Immortal Hulk. If you guys are reading Immortal Hulk, uh, another cool one here, sitting on throne. 
Anytime Hulk's on throne, that's just sick. I'd love to have a Hulk on throne statue. That'd be sweet. Cool cover there, Gray Hulk. I was going to buy some World War Hulk issues, but um, <laughs> the place we looked, uh, that uh, Savannah Comics and more, my gosh, had they jacked those prices up. The time of this filming, that World War Hulk is hot. Okay, and here we go. Here's the keys. Here's the keys. If you guys haven't already noticed, I'm going to try to bring the camera back over here and show you guys the keys. First one off, we got Green Lantern number 40, Origin of the Guardians. Um, and we got the, uh, the old uh, Green Lantern fighting against uh, Hal Jordan Green Lantern. And then we got First Appearance of the Demon. Classic Jack Kirby. This book's going to get hot. Buy this book now. We got DC Keys. Oh, man, we got the Peacemaker. So this is Peacemaker's third appearance. Um, awesome cover. This was has been on the hot top 10 list for a while. We got What If, number one. This book's beat. It's uh, probably like a 3-0, 4-0, but uh, it was in one of those bins. We had to scoop it up. This is a good one. Uh, Star Wars, Canon, Canon, The Last Padawan, number one. Bunch of first appearances in that. That's probably about a 9-4, 9-6. Avengers 257, that's First Nebula. Uh, they had that in a CGC-graded book, but they were wanting too much. Got that one for a pretty pretty reasonable price. There's a good one. New Mutants, number uh, annual number two. Um, this got, yeah, it's got those color breaking ticks. First Psylocke. Pick that one up too if you can. There's a good one. Green Lantern. I ah, can't remember the issue number on this one. This is First Omega Men. We got that one in the, um, in the Antique Mall. Oh, Web of Spider-Man 32. Classic cover. Uh, Mike Zek cover. Been wanting this one. That, that's a 9.8 candidate right there. And we had to get Adam Warlock. So that's the origin of, um, Magus. Uh, this is at number nine, I think. Yep. And then we've got Strange Tales featuring Adam Warlock, number tw uh, number 178. That's kind of a mid-grade-ish. And then we got the Warlock in, uh, and the Infinity Watch. Um, this is the events that ha happen after the Infinity Gauntlet. I got one through 13, and I got two copies of one. Not a super rare book, but anything Warlock, you, you want to pick that up now because he's been cast, you know he's coming, and it's going to be awesome. And then here's just some Ice Cream Man stuff that I got, you know, just some variant covers. I'm a sucker for any variant uh, Ice Cream Man books. And then we got this sweet, very rare Planet Hulk Omnibus. Um, man, this thing's out of print, has been for years. Awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.